find out how to add shadows on your photos. So you can go to elements and then type in shadow here and choose from the graphics that you like, for example, this one, and then you can add the shadow like that just by clicking on it and changing the blur, for example, if you want it to be more blurry, or you can also make it less transparent if that's what you want so there are some shadow options here they are mostly paid but it is something you could explore i also have some on my shop so i just want to show you how it would look like with the shadows you can purchase from my website link in the description of course and so the first thing is we're going to create a new document and i'm just going to use a custom size and then once you uh have the file you get this pdf and then inside the pdf you're just gonna click download then you get all these uh, different options and let's say i chose the flower shadows and if you right click and click download you can just download all or you can download some that you like no the ones you choose and just click this icon and then it's gonna create a file for you once the file is downloaded then we can import it over here so i'm gonna double click this file and now i can just drag and drop it in canva as you can see it uploaded them as images and now i can start using them so let's say i like this one and I can just add it like that. I can make it bigger, smaller, whatever it is. And we can decrease the transparency. So if you just click on it and you click this icon here, you can decrease the transparency like that. Another thing I like to do, sometimes I want to add more blur to it. So we're gonna go see all and we're gonna add, make it a little more blurry. So add, let's add an image behind it. So let's say I'm going to go to elements and I'm going to type in minimal model. And I'm going to choose this girl here. And as you can see, the shadow is already ready. So we're going to make it bigger. Now, I don't like that it's coming from that side. So we're actually going to flip it like that. And we're going to create an, another one here, maybe a little smaller. And then this one, we can choose what we want to do. So again, we can increase the transparency or decrease it because it's further away. And here you go. Very easily, you can have more shadows in your photos. Let me know if you have any questions. And thank you for watching.